John, you were in there. Uh, the congressman has left. And how did he look as he was leaving? And, and I'm sure reporters were shouting questions. He didn't seem inclined to talk. Oh, no, and he looked very stone-faced. He made a beeline right outside the front door to a pickup truck waiting for him. Lots of protesters, lots of media chanting, the protesters chanting, shame, shame, shame. He just looked stone-faced, got in the car, and drove away. It was a very interesting morning in court. I was in the courthouse, and Hunter got to his arraignment to start at 1030, around 930 in the morning. He sat there silently. His wife, Margaret, came in about 1015, and she just walked right by him with no eye contact. So it was a very cold entrance between her and him. Now, the two did stand together in front of Judge William Gallo, and they pled not guilty to 60 counts, including wire fraud and conspiracy. The couple is accused of taking $250,000 of campaign funds and using them for personal use, like vacations and apparel things like that. Now, the two are out on bail. The prosecutors, federal prosecutors, talked about their dire financial straits, say they are broke, living paycheck to paycheck, and that's why they set Duncan Hunter's bail at 15000 and Margaret Hunter's bail at 10000 Both need a co-signer. Duncan Hunter will have to give up his guns by Monday. Now, what's happening next on September 4th at 9 a.m.? They will be back here. They're scheduled to appear in front of federal judge Thomas Whelan. But that's what just happened going on for now. And for now, live outside the federal courthouse, John Horn, 10 News. All right. Oh, thank you so much, John.